Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to announce that Resolume 7.13 is live. This update mostly focuses on Resolume Arena, but we got new features for Wire 2. So strap in and let's get started. Resolume Arena got two new panels in this update. The first of these panels is the SEMTI panel. To open the SEMTI panel, start by navigating to the view menu, click on show SEMTI and your panel will appear. Up to two SEMTI clocks can be monitored at the same time. You can offset the frames by changing the delay frames dial if needed. You can change the color of the clock by clicking on the cogwheel. To learn more about how to use SEMTI to synchronize your show, check out the article on our website, link in the description below. Time for more ticking numbers with the Clip Time panel, which is new for both Resolume Arena and Resolume Avenue. The Clip Time panel is here to monitor the duration or remaining time of your clips. When in duration mode, the monitor will display how far we are in the clip. By clicking on the time, you flip the monitor and we can see how much time is left of the current clip. This is indicated by a minus symbol at the start of the clock. The clip time panel is customizable by clicking on the cogwheel. Here we can choose to monitor the selected layer or clip, enable or disable system time or monitor specific layers. We hope this little tool helps you to bring your sync game to the next level. The slice transform effect got an update. You can now control the opacity of each slice individually in the effect, which is awesome because this gives you much more control when playing with your mapping. Additionally, you can now set different scaling types to each slice. You're not limited to fit, fill, stretch or mask for all your slices anymore. There is also a new inverted mask mode to actually show the pixels outside the slice and not inside. The next one is a little quality of life update with the addition of plus and minus buttons to most parameters. This will help you to fine tune some parameters that need extra precision. And our final update to Arena and Avenue is the option to fold all effects by shift clicking the little arrow left of the effect name. This will fold or unfold the effect and all effects below. And on to Wire, which got a new node this update called Find. Find allows you to search for a substring within a given string, which is a very technical way of saying, find me a piece of text in a bigger piece of text. You give the node a needle to search for. This is the string you are looking for. Next, you give it a haystack, the string you want to search in. The node will output a boolean, true or false, whether it has found the needle or not. If it finds the needle, it will output its position in the haystack. After that, you probably want to use something like a substring node to read that part of the string. For a full example of the find node, check out the example patch in Wire. Have you ever wished there was a button to magically clean up your room? Well, we don't have that. But what we do have is a new button that will magically clean up your patch. When you have a messy patch like this one, simply select all nodes either by dragging a selection box or hitting Ctrl and A. Next, right click on any node and hit Auto Layout. And bam, magic. Let's do that again. Messy patch, select all, Hit Auto Layout, beautiful. Resolume 7.13 is out now, so go get it, Tiger, and we'll be seeing you soon.